Welcome to Contacts. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the net present value or the NPV. What is it? NPV is a method that is used to determine the current value of all future cash flows generated by a project, including the initial investment. So the NPV is the net present value of all future cash flows. It discounts all future cash flows to its value today. We know that 100 Rand in five years time is worth less than 100 Rand today. And that is why we discount all future cash flows to see what is, what is its value today. So let's look at an example which will be helpful in understanding the net present value. And it will also show you how to calculate the net present value using the table. In this example, we are told that Sid Tight Limited, a company that manufactures chairs, is considering the purchase of a machine for 65,000 Rand. So that's the investment. And the expected cash inflows generated by the machine are as follows. We are given the five years. It's for five years. And we're also given the cash flows on the second column. And the cash flows are from year one to year five. And we're also told that after the five-year period, the machine is expected to have a scrap value of 5,000 Rand. Very important, which will affect our cash flows. And we'll see where it goes just now. And we're also told that the company's required rate of return is 7%. So we are asked to advise it tight limited on whether or not it should purchase the machine. And we should base our recommend recommendation on the net present value of the investment. Remember, the net present value also lets us know whether we should accept or reject the investment. If the net present value is negative, that means we'll be making a loss. So it's not worth it going ahead with the investment. So we will reject the investment. If it's positive, then we will generally accept the investment. So let's see how do we calculate the net present value given the cash flows that we are given. First, we do our table, and this is the table that we'll be using to calculate the net present value. I know there are various methods of calculating the, the net present value. There is the calculator, and there is also Excel as a way of calculating the net present value. But in this one, we're using the table. So on the left column, we have the years. These are the number of years we are given in the question. We have the cash flows. These are the cash flows that we're also given in the cash flows. In the third column, we have what we call the present value interest factor. And this interest factor, we get it from a table, which you should be given or you will be given. So we get the interest factor, which discounts the cash flows from uh, according to each specific year. And then in the last column, we have present value of cash flows. So this is after we have discounted them. How do we get the present value of cash flows? We take the cash flows multiplied by the present value interest factor to get the present value of cash flows. Now, which year do we begin at? Do we begin at year one? No, we begin at year zero. And the reason we begin at year zero is because of the initial investment. When you have the initial investment, uh, when you have to invest, then that will happen at year zero because you are considering investing in in, in, in in that opportunity or in that project now. You are considering investing in that project now at this present time. So that means we have the present value of the initial investment because it's happening at this present time. It's not happening at year one or year two. So we put year zero and the amount there is 65,000 Rand. Where did we get 65,000 Rand? Let's go back to our question. We are told that it is considering the purchase of a machine for 65,000 Rand. So that is the initial investment. If you are going to invest, we are going to invest in year zero, which is now. So we do not have to discount that one. Once we've done that one, we have to now see which table are we going to use. Let's first show what table you're going to use for the present value interest factor. This is the table that we, you will most likely be given. This is just a snippet. This is not a complete table. Sometimes it goes all the way to 20% or 25% or 30%. And then the period here is the number of years. It's the number of years that we are talking about the number of years in question. So that's what the periods mean. So this is called the present value interest factors for one rand or one dollar, depending on the currency you're using, discounted at K percent for N periods. So for whichever number of periods, in this case, we are doing five years. So let's first plug in the figures that we are given, the cash flows that we are given for the five years. Uh, we put them down there from year one, year two, year three, year four. Now for year five, how much are we given? Let's go back to our question. Year five, we are told that the cash flow is 9,000 Rand. But the reason I didn't put it yet is because we are also told that after the five year period, the machine is expected to have a scrap value of 5,000 Rand. That is going to be 
included in our cash flows so the scrap value or the residual value has to be included as part of our cash flows because it's going to be after the five year period so it's included in the fifth year so we have nine thousand rand plus the scrap value which is the value that is going to be remaining in the machine after the five year period so that means going to be worth five thousand rand so it's nine thousand rand plus 5,000 Rand, which gives us 14,000 Rand. So for the fifth year, instead of having 9,000 Rand, we have 14,000 Rand. If we didn't have any scrap value, we are told that the machine is going to be fully depreciated after the five year period, then we were not going to add the 5,000, we'll just have the 9,000. But because of the scrap value, we added it in. So in our present value interest factors, we're also told that uh, in the question, we are also told that uh, the percentage is 7%, the required rate of return. Let's go back to our question. We are told that the company's required rate of return is 7%. So we're going to put here, so it's 7%, and the number of years is 5 years. So we're going to focus on that section, 7% and 5 years, and we have year 1 to year 5. And then now we have to plug in the present value interest factor. Now you can see that the present value interest factor for year one at 7% is 0 0.935 and for year two is 0 0.873 until year five where it's 0 0.713. You can see that it keeps going down. The reason it's going down as the years go is because money loses value over time. So let's plug in those ones. So we've just plugged all of them in. from year, So for year zero, we have put one because the, we are investing, we are doing the investment right now, today. So we do not need to discount it. It's already today's value. But then from year one, we want to know what is today's value of 13,000 Rand. Uh, so, and then for year two, we want to know what's uh, today's value of 18,000 Rand received in two years. So that's why we have the present value interest factor. Now, the present value of cash flows. How do we get that? Like I mentioned before, cash flows times the present value interest factor to get the present value of cash flows. So I have calculated that already. So we just plug them in. The 65,000 Rand, remember, is a negative because we will be spending the money to buy the machine. So the initial investment is usually a negative because you're spending the money as the investment. So now that we have all the values that we needed here, now we want to calculate the net present value. How do we get the net present value? Once we have the present value of cash flows, it's very easy. You just add all of them up. You add from minus 65,000 all the way until 9,982 rand. So we add them. How much does that give us? It gives us minus 962 rand. You can calculate it on yourself for yourself and you'll be able to see that. Minus 962 rand. Now you can see that it's a negative. And like I had mentioned, the net present value help us determine whether we should invest in a project or not. So since it's a negative, we will not invest in the project because if we invest in the project, we'll be making a loss. We'll make a loss of 962 Rand. So what is our verdict considering that it's 900, minus 962 Rand? Because we're told to, make a to give a recommendation. Here's the recommendation. Do not invest in the machine as it has a negative NPV. If it was a positive NPV, then we'll say you could invest, you should invest in the machine because you will have a return or you'll have a positive return. So remember, we have discounted the cash flow discounts all future cash flows to today's value. And today's value of all future cash flows is 900, minus 962 Rand. That's why we are not investing. I hope that has made sense and it was thorough and explained well. If you have any questions or queries, you can comment down below. And if this video has been of value to you, if you have learned something, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our video and also sharing it if you can. Till next time. Cheers.